Hi Stampers, this is Dawn and today we're going to make this birthday card. Isn't it beautiful? I'm totally casing this card that I've seen on Pinterest from Mary Fish. I loved her card, but I'm changing it up just a little bit. So this is the one we're going to make today. And this designer paper is the Parisian Blossoms Specialty Designer Paper. And these are the two sheets that I'm using. But this is specialty paper because it's got the foil. The designer paper is really the focus of the birthday card, in my opinion. So we'll look how pretty this is. And it's double-sided as well. Okay, so these are the cards that I made for my hostess for January for Lisa. And I didn't get a chance to make her cards for that month. So I made them for her now. So we gave them to her this past Saturday for our February club night. But aren't they pretty? Using the same design of the card. So these are for Lisa and then we're going to make this one. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so let's start with the base. This is the Whisper White. This is cut at five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Then a piece of the Parisian Blossoms designer paper. And this is cut at four by five and a quarter. And then another piece cut at three by four. And then this piece of Whisper White is cut at three and a quarter by four and a quarter. And then we're also using the Petal Pink quarter inch metallic edged ribbon. We also have this in the silver and then the gold. But this is in the mini catalog right now. Isn't it beautiful, that petal pink? I love it. And then I'm also using the Champagne Rhinestones. These are also in the um, mini catalog right now. For my greeting, which we're going to go ahead and stamp, I'm using the Whisper White and Early Espresso Classic Ink. And the birthday greeting is from the Parcels and Petals, and it's the birthday cheer to you all year. Love that. So we're going to go ahead and stamp that. Okay, so I'm going to take the two inch circle punch and I'm going to, now the circle is a little bit large on the bottom, but that's all right because we're going to cut this off with their scissors. So I'm going to put the birthday chair greeting up towards the top of the punch, just like that. And punch that out and then I'm going to take the greeting and I'm going to cut the bottom section off. Okay, so it should look like that. All right, so let's go ahead and grab our ribbon and I'm gonna grab some snail. I've already went ahead and tied our bow. So let me go ahead and layer these pieces together. So it's very, very cursive -y and very pretty. All right, now this layer right here, we're gonna take our Whisper White and then we're just going to layer the designer paper off to the side or off to this side. I think I'm going to layer it this way. I think that's the way I did it. Yep, so we're just going to put adhesive on the designer paper. Okay, so the Whisper White piece is straight. And then the designer paper, you're just going to slightly twist to the left or to the right, however you want your designer paper to lay. And then we're going to put some adhesive on the back and then wrap the ribbon around the front. I want to make sure I pull that ribbon snug, just like that. Wrap it around to the back. And then I'm going to pop dimensionals on the back side of this. Okay, so I put two dimensionals, one on each side of the ribbon, just to secure that down so it doesn't come off. And then we're just going to set this in the center of our card, just like that. And then we're going to put adhesive on the birthday cheer greeting. Let me grab my snail. And then this bottom edge right here is going to be tucked up underneath the ribbon. Just a little tiny bit so it looks like that. And then this bow is going to get adhered with the glue dot over to the left hand side. So let me grab some glue dots. I'm going to grab my take your pick tool and grab two glue dots. I'm going to adhere the bow onto that. So pretty. 
that gorgeous? All right, now let's grab our rhinestones, our champagne rhinestones. We're going to put some rhinestones in the center of the flowers. Let me go ahead and do that. So pretty. All right, so let me show you the other ones. So these were Lisa's cards that I gave her for her hostess month in January. And then here's the other one that I made with the rhinestones added to those. All right, so if you have any questions, just let me know. And I also have all the items listed below. And then don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any future videos. Okay, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you later. Bye.